June 9, 2015. Astronauts on the International Space Station conduct routine tests of the radio systems. This is the kind of stuff they have to do all the time on the ISS. New systems are introduced, and they just have to make sure that it works. As the crew carry out their checks, the ISS begins to move. All of a sudden, the rocket thrusters start firing, and nobody knows why. There are no maneuvers scheduled for the ISS. The Soyuz engines fired for a full minute before they shut down, and this is actually long enough to change the space station's orbit. The unexplained rocket firing throws the space station out of its correct orbit. The path of ISS's orbit is carefully planned to stay out of harm's way. If there's any deviation from that, there's no telling what will happen, but it won't be good. It takes NASA two hours to get the station back on a safe course. The accidental firing is dismissed as a freak incident. Both NASA and the Russian space agency of Roscosmos brush off the event like it was nothing. Earlier in the year, a Russian spacecraft en route to resupply the ISS started behaving strangely. The supply module goes into an uncontrolled spin. The most reliable and used rocket in history. But all of a sudden, everything has gone crazy. Attempts to regain control fail, and it ultimately burns up as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Three months before the Progress 59 crash, the crew dealt with another emergency. Alarm bells literally start ringing on the ISS when a pneumonia leak is detected in the American module. NASA released a statement saying that the ammonia leak was a false alarm. The cause? Another computer glitch. Glitches like this could kill someone. Some suggest that these recurring incidents are evidence that the ISS is under cyber attack. Hackers have already compromised other NASA spacecraft. In 2007 and 2008, Chinese hackers managed to break into key U.S. satellites. They took control of the satellites for 11 minutes. The government claims that nothing was done during that 11-minute period, but the fact that they could come in and control the satellites is very scary. In 2011, an unencrypted laptop containing algorithms used to control the ISS was stolen from a NASA employee. The stolen laptop was never recovered. 